What's going on YouTube? This is what Josh do. We've got a exciting little video for you guys today. So Google released the Chromecast. I don't remember exactly how long ago, but I'm pretty sure it's been a little over a year and I've been enjoying it. I really like it. It's a neat little device to carry to a friend's house and, you know, stream something from your phone to their TV if they don't have like a, a media streaming device. You have one that fits in your pocket and you can power it via a little USB battery bank or the USB port on a monitor or TV or some other way. So this is the new revised version of it. So let's go ahead and unbox it. The other side has some information on it, so I'm just gonna go, to go ahead and open it from here. All right, I found a little slit, and I'm gonna go ahead and just tear into it. Now, originally I was thinking about recording two separate videos, editing two separate videos, and uploading two separate videos, but I figured I would just go ahead and do one video of both of them, since they're both right here, and that's just more convenient. Here's the Chromecast audio and the Chromecast just streaming device. So I will be doing a video on both of these. I did decide to go with the red Chromecast because my in, my media center, my entertainment center is black and it's always really hard to find my little Chromecast. Well, this little guy will not be hard to find and I definitely recommend getting it a color other than your entertainment center because it's, again, it's really hard to find it. And I'm definitely more excited about the Chromecast. So. Uh, this is something I wasn't quite sure what it was at when I ordered it. I was under the impression this was a little speaker and I was like, why would you pay $35 for that? But it's not. Now, both of these support five gigahertz, which is amazing because the old one did not. And now you should be able to get faster speeds. I personally have Google Fiber, so five gigahertz is a godsend. I'm able to achieve speeds like two to 300 megabits per second. So that's freaking amazing. I'm definitely very excited to finally have a five gigahertz Chromecast. And then we can go ahead and see the back of each device here. It says you can control from your phone, listen on speakers, plug it into the aux input, and enjoy a crisp, high quality sound delivered over Wi-Fi. That's awesome. So it's not Bluetooth, it is delivered over Wi-Fi, which is faster than Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and look at this device first. Now I don't have any way to really test this at the moment, so you're just gonna have to uh, know. Oh yeah, it says here, Pandora, play music, radio, and then tune in and I'll hit radio than this one right here. Now there's gonna be more in the future, so you can go to the app store to find out. Now let's go ahead and open this sucker up. It says, oh, it has information right here. It's get started, plug it into a speaker, switch speaker input, set it up from your phone. And then in here, we have the little aux input cable. And then you've got just the charging port right here to, to keep it, because you do have to provide power to this thing, so you will have to plug it into something. So we'll just go ahead and plug this in then. You've got a little power button, and it looks like some kind of a sensor maybe like a blaster or like an infrared input or something. Maybe that's not anything. Who knows? And that's about it. Then in here, we have the power cord, which is a USB thing, so you can use anything. If you have a USB port on the back of your TV and it puts out enough power, this will do. In fact, this little guy right here is rated at 5 volts and 1 amp. My hands are kind of shaky. They've always been. I'm sorry about that. All right. So let's go ahead and put all this to the side. And let's check out the Chromecast. All right. So it's similar opening. Just peel that off and then pull this back. And it says plug it into power. Plug it into your TV. Plug the power into the wall. Switch TV input. Very easy to set up. Very easy to use. Same thing. Oh, that is really cool. Definitely excited about that. And plus, this is magnetic, a little magnetic strip, so it's easy to stay on there, and it can kind of be carried around. So, so I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, so it's really cool, because if you have something with a, like, you don't have very much space, all you need is that much. You don't need, you know, that much right there. <laughs> you just need that much. And then this just kind of hangs there. So that's really cool that they did that versus the other way where sometimes you had to get a little extender to extend that. It's just built into it. And then it just stays like that. That's pretty awesome. And then we have this little guy right here, which is 
also 5 volts and 1 amp. So both of these are rated exactly the same power. So that's pretty cool. And the neat thing is it also has this little thing here to make it real easy to wrap the cables up when you're done with them. And then this you just take off and throw away because it's trash. So if you're someone that has to have neat cable management, you can just pull out as much as you need. And then you can all just Velcro it all back together. And it shouldn't come undone. Just go ahead and wrap it up. And then boom, now you have exactly enough cable without a mess of cable everywhere. So with both of these, you just plug it in and it will turn on. Oh, that's an LED. <laughs> okay, so that was just the LED. I was, I was definitely going a little bit overboard there with all my assumptions. Uh, just turned white. You just open the app up and it will find these things for you. So searching for Chromecasts and hopefully it'll find this it's not quite set up on a network so i don't know how this is going to work at the moment so uh ensure that the chromecast is plugged into the wall check make sure your phone or tablet and chromecast audio are on the same wi-fi network and make sure your speaker is powered on and oh it says no chromecasts are found so oh there we go need setup all right set it up connecting to this little guy right here the little light is flashing Okay, I just saw my Wi-Fi icon change. It's doing a direct signal to this little guy right here. Now, I did want to go ahead and try this before just ending the video. So, we'll plug it in. It's just a little Bluetooth speaker from Pluggable. And we'll play test sound. Okay, that was very loud. <laughs> I'm using a directional microphone and it's not. It's facing towards me, not the speakers. But that was pretty loud, so I definitely heard that. And we will name this... Uh, Chrome cast audio and we will enable guest mode and we will not send the reports and uh, we will connect it to our on hub network so you'll just go here and choose it and we'll put in the password once we put the password we'll hit set network and now this little guy is going to be talking to our router so this this will go back to our old network the same one this is going to be connecting to it's like it just went away now it has internet we're online now that you've set up the chromecast downloading an update already we're going to skip we're going to go to the chromecast next hang in there while we fetch the update it did have a little counter at the top it hit 100% so I went ahead and just hit skip the intro because I wasn't sure how long this update would take all right installing update hold tight so it's, this is going to be exactly like st streaming a video to your TV, but now you're streaming audio to whatever speakers are hooked into this right here. It's just a neat little speaker system from Pluggable. I did do a video on this thing a while ago. Uh, it's pretty loud, and I actually really enjoy this unit right here. All right, the update is complete. We'll go ahead and hit continue. So that's pretty cool that it's going to be updating on its own, and the little light right there changed to white. All right, so my Google Play is, I have too many devices, unfortunately, because it's stupid policy, and I've reset this device so many times and uh, to install like new versions of Android or to flash it back to stock and stuff like that, so uh, I can't do that. I wonder if YouTube, YouTube should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Let's go ahead and try YouTube real quick. All right, we're going to hit the cast button. Oh, see? It says it's video. It's not going to cast it. All right, let's go ahead and download this app real quick, and then we'll be back. All right, so we'll go ahead and open it up. Let's we'll exit out of this. Let's go to local radio. And we'll do 93.3 the mix. And we'll hit play. And then we'll cast it to our Chromecast audio right there. There we go. So I can turn it down. I can turn it up. I can go back and I can choose 95.7, which is also a very good station here in Kansas City. Of course, they don't have something. So what about 103.3, the jam? Okay, they have a station. So that's cool. All right, so there's Chromecast audio. Now we're going to go ahead and get to the Chromecast device itself for streaming video. And so let's go ahead and unplug that. So that's really cool. I definitely think that's a pretty cool option if this device did not have Bluetooth. 
I could still use it, basically, because I have Wi-Fi here. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and unplug this and then plug in the Chromecast. So if you're here just for the Chromecast, now you can watch this part. And let's go back to the Chromecast app. And we will go ahead and go to Devices, Scanning for Chromecasts. I need to go ahead and plug it into my monitor here. All right, so the app on here has found the Chromecast, which is 7951. And if you look down here, it says 7951. So we're going to go ahead and hit Setup for that, and then Setup, connecting to the Chromecast. Let's see if it, oh, it says Awaiting Instructions. All right, the code on here is T8L2, and then on here it's the same, so I see the code. Let's go ahead and name this uh, just Chromecast. And we can enable guest mode, but I want to go ahead and uncheck that box. It's purely optional, of course. Same thing as the Chromecast audio. It's going to go ahead and enter in our password. All right, our password's in. We're going to go ahead and hit set network. And now this immediately said connecting and starts to spin around. This is very cool. I'm super excited that it has 5 gigahertz. Like, I didn't really have an issue before, but while watching Twitch or something that just requires constant, fast audio, uh, it's very, or video, it's going to be ex very exciting to have the faster Wi-Fi, most definitely. I definitely do not recommend getting the old one if you have a 5 gigahertz network. This should be the one you try to get. So that's, this is awesome. So this is just like before. Uh, it's going to fetch an update, and then it's going to install the update, and that's going to take a couple minutes or so. And now it's rebooting to apply that update. All right, on my phone it says update complete. We'll go ahead and hit continue, and then browse your cast apps. So if you've got Twitch, you can watch me live stream on your Chromecast just by launching your Twitch app, searching for www.joshdew, and putting me on your Chromecast. Or you can watch someone else play. Like, let's go to channels. Or how do I view? Oh, I got to log in to see the ones I'm following. So we'll just go ahead and do this guy right here. And we will send that to our Chromecast. Very quick. Very fluid. That's amazing. You can still see the comments on your phone. We're going to go ahead and stop that. Boom. Done. Okay. So you can also do YouTube. So you can open up your YouTube app and you can uh, watch a video that way too. So let's go ahead and pick one of my videos. We're fixing it in this video for those of you that are curious. Uh, let's go to our router review and let's go ahead and cast that over to our Chromecast. And it takes like about three seconds. It's very quick. It's very fast. That's this is awesome. This is really really cool stuff. We'll go ahead and stop that one too. And you can do it with Netflix, you can do it with uh YouTube, you can do it with all Twitch, you can do it with a lot of apps. And then there's third-party apps that allow you to stream your whole device over there. So like if I choose Cast, uh, I can go Chromecast and it's going to connect my phone here and then I can tilt it sideways. Okay, I don't know if rotation is disabled. Okay, rotation is not working at the moment, but uh so we can we can go to Reddit and see what's on the front page of the internet at the moment. There you go. This is pretty cool. And that's dude, that's damn near instant. There is just the absolute tiniest tiniest hint of lag. Let's see what's happening over on Destiny uh, Reddit real quick, because that's one of the subreddits I follow the most. Oh, I'm not logged into here either. <laughs> oh, God. I just freaking reset this phone and logged into everything, so I installed the latest developer build of Android Marshmallow. So we can go ahead and disconnect, and boom, that's it. That's awesome. That's amazing. This is definitely faster than the old Chromecast, and I highly recommend using this Chromecast over the old one, most definitely. So that was my 
little unboxing setup and just showing you examples of how both the Chromecast audio and the Chromecast media streaming device work. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here. And please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you have not done so already. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.